This video is part of a series of SSIS tutorial videos created by CozyRock. In this video, I will show you how to configure a package that loads the data from a flat file that contains fixed width columns and no row delimiters whatsoever. Here's the data we'll be working with as the source. We're looking at a flat file. And you can see everything is on a single line. It has the header row there, and you can see everything has um, padding to make it the correct width, since every column is based on an exact width. So there's the whole file, uh, clearly not very human friendly. Anyway, uh, let's uh, close this now and I want to show you the table that we're going to be writing the data to and it's called automobile inventory and there you can see um, it has all the same column names as the file has and it has everything set up as a vericare 50 so non-unicode and now we'll go over to visual studio and we'll start by dragging the data flow task onto the canvas and I double click on it to go over to the data flow canvas and I'll scroll down to find the flat file source and drag that onto the canvas. We'll be using this to read fixed with data from flat file. And then I double click on it to open the editor. I need to set up a new connection manager so I click on new and then I'll browse to find that file I just showed you. It's the automobile inventory FW file. Then we will set the format to fixed width. And the header row really does not have a carriage return line feed delimiter, but this doesn't allow us to choose that there's nothing. And it seems to ignore that anyway. And then I'll leave column names in the first data row checked. And then we'll go over here to set up our columns. And I know each row is 60 characters total. I'm going to change this to Courier New. It makes it a little bit easier to fit on the screen. And there you can see uh, we have a red del delimiter showing up at the end of each row. And then to set up the column width for each column, I'm going to click just before the beginning of the next uh, column or the next column name. So I have make set up now and now I click again on the ruler for the model and again for the year, for the color, for the miles and then the retail price column ends at the red delimiter and that's also where each row ends. Now if I go to advanced I'm going to make some changes here. So it sets up the name uh, with padding to make it the right width and I don't want that in there so I'm going to remove all the padding from each of the column names. Of course it won't remove it from the data itself, just the column names. And you can also see the, um, the width of each column has been set up in here. So uh, retail price doesn't have any padding in it. And uh, so anyway, let me just point out now the input column width uh, for make is set to 11 and the column type is set to fixed width. Model is set to 15 characters. Year is set to six. Color is set to nine. Miles is set to seven and retail price is set to 12. It's just that the header names will not be that width. They'll just be the width of the word itself. All right, and so if we preview now, you can see, oops, you can see everything uh, seems to be lining up the way we want it to look. So I'll close the connection manager, and just for the heck of it, we'll do a preview from the component also and again everything looks like it's lining up correctly 
And now I'll click OK to close that editor. Stay tuned to see how I complete the configuration of the package and execute it. Do you need to sort large amounts of data that can't be sorted using the standard sort? How many times has the standard sort component failed you when sorting more than two gigabytes of data? With CozyRock's Sort Plus component, you can sort any amount of data and any number of records. It's free for testing and development and provides the same set of capabilities like the standard sort component, and yet it does so much more. It's not limited by the amount of available RAM, also can accept multiple inputs, and all processing is done in parallel using a configurable number of threads. CozyRock's Sort Plus provides optimal utilization of your server's resources, sorting very large amounts of data in a reasonable time. Download the Sort Plus component now. CozyRock SSIS Plus is free for testing and development within Visual Studio. Now I'll drag the OLEDB destination component onto the canvas and we'll use this to write fixed width data to table. And I'll connect the blue arrow from the source to the destination. And I'll double click on the destination and click on new to set up our connection manager. And I'll choose this server and database and click OK. And now I need to select the appropriate table from that database and it's just called automobile inventory. Click on view existing and you can see it has the same column names as the file does. And we'll click on mappings and everything gets mapped. Now if we hadn't removed the padding or the white space from the names of the columns in the connection manager for the flat file, then we would have had to manually map this because the column names would not have matched. Okay, we'll close that. The red X goes away. I'm going to save the package. Now I right mouse click on the package name and I select Execute Package. And it completed successfully, so I'll stop debugging. And now we'll go take a look at the table. And uh, so it's the automobile inventory table. And there you can see all the data was copied over correctly. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to follow us on social media, here's how you can do that.